In this exercise tutorial, I'm gonna be taking you through how to do a lateral raise on a Swiss ball. So firstly, I'm sat on the Swiss ball here. I've got my weights in front of me. And the first thing I'm gonna do is pick up the weights and make sure I pick them up with a nice straight back. So I can actually come forwards on the Swiss ball here with a nice straight back. I'm gonna pop the weights on my knees to start off. So make sure firstly that your feet are just wider than hip width apart. And also that you're sat bang in the middle of the Swiss ball. From this position, I'm now gonna bring the weights to my sides. I'm gonna have my chest up, I'm looking forwards, chin up as well. And the first thing you're gonna think of doing is raising the weights out away from your body. So by bringing the weights out away from your body, that's gonna look like this. You're coming to shoulder height on each repetition. So your wrist is gonna be in line with your shoulder. You're not only controlling the upwards phase of the exercise, but also controlling lowering the weights as well under control. You'll be doing this with what's called a soft elbow. So if I come side on, if you think about an elbow that's fully extended, it's locked out, right? So we don't wanna completely lock the elbow out. We'll just have a little soft bend in the elbow and that's called a soft elbow when you're doing the exercise. So slight bend in the elbow, hopefully you can see now side on as I'm bringing the weights up away from my body and back down. Again, chest up, always looking forwards. And you have got a little bit of core demand that's going on here because you're on the Swiss ball and it will move slightly when you're doing the repetitions. Once you've repeated your desired amount of sets and repetitions, you've now done your Swiss ball lateral raise. 